Hey everyone, Varuma Hercher here. Today I'm back with another breakdown. I'm do uh, today I'm doing Isaki Baez versus Gabriel Arges at the 2019 King of Mats. Um, so as we usually do, we're going to do a little preview of these athletes to understand who they are and what they do. Um, Isaki Baez is a very well-rounded jiu-jitsu athlete, and he's he's very good at forcing people into his game, and he's very very good at playing the rules. He is one of the best. Uh, he's one of the best tacticians in jiu-jitsu. He's very good in scrambles, and he'll generally win them against most people. And on bottom, he mostly comes up on singles or scrambles to st uh, to star sweeps or puts his opponents in 50-50, which is another strong sweeping position. On top, he's pretty unique. Uh, he'll often pull himself into 50-50 or close guard to run out the clock, and, he and when he does actively pass the guard, he's very explosive, and he likes to create scrambles in order to finish the pass, and he doesn't give his legs very much in the initial sequences of his passes, so he'll always have his head forward and his legs back. Oftentimes when he feels his opponent is about to train a strong attack, he li uh, when he's on top, he likes to limp leg away, which you'll see, and that allows his opponent to only attack a single, which is um, uh, and he's very confident in his single leg defense. Or he'll use the limp leg to pull himself back into 50-50, even if he's being swept, so he can sweep back immediately. Gabriel Arges is also very, very well-rounded, but he generally prefers to be on bottom. Uh, his whole game is basically getting to 50-50 and winning scrambles from there. When he scrambles, he likes to come out to the back more rather than uh, rather than getting the two points like Asaki does. And Gabriel also likes to bowl and crab, li uh, crab ride a lot from that position as well. So um, we got to understand their goals at the start of the match. So these guys, they're very kind of similar to featherweights or light featherweights and below. Um, they like to, they want to either get a clean pull or st uh, stand up in the double pool to get the advantage or to steal the two. And they both want to finish on top at the end of the match so that they can keep a, uh, so that they can keep a point lead. And um, uh, we're going to see it right now as we get into the match. They touch hands and they're ready to go. Um, we're going to see over here for the for the guard pool. Isaki is going to set it up with a shot, and then on. Uh, but Gabriel does a good job of getting his hips back, and he's going to go for the double pool on the return, and then he comes up for the advantage. On the advantage, he comes up with a squat, and this leads it, uh, into Isaki's favorite single leg. However, Gabriel was actually very on point over here in Shin Slice, which is a further progression compared to what everyone else has been able to do in competition against Izaki. However, Izaki has probably practiced this chain a thousand times and off balance Gabriel in order to set up an underhook on the inside to go for a star sweep finish. And when he sets up his underhook, notice how he cups the leg. That is super good because that stops, uh, that stops Gabriel from disengaging. When Izaki finishes the sweep and comes up with a drawstring grip, that is a really ideal position for him as he has low risk of being swept back because Gabriel can't control his lower body. You see Gabriel's got a cross collar grip that can lead to a loop choke. Izaki immediately strips the grip because of the threat and although he neutralizes the loop choke, he opens himself up to being put in closed guard as both of Gabriel's shins are under his armpits. We see Gabriel attempting to underhook the leg of Izaki for two reasons, one to play open guard and get straight to 50-50 or to use the muscle sweep. And uh, we see that uh, he's going for more of a 50-50 entry as soon as he starts grabbing the sleeve of Izaki. We, we, and we also see a really smart sequence over here. He threatens the omoplata with the sleeve, then switches to the lapel so he can stay attached to Izaki, which neutralizes his passing style. And when, his, uh, when Gabriel switches to the collar, that was also a genius moment, because now he can off-balance Izaki and have more attacking options like the X-Guard. And then one final adjustment where he switches to the far side sleeve to stop Izaki from doing any kind of explosive disengagement as he has, uh, as he has already got the underhook on the left side. We see Izaki does his signature, uh, signature limp leg, but that far side sleeve of Gabriel doesn't allow, uh, doesn't allow him to disengage well because he can't post his hand on the mat to stop the sweep. On the way down, Izaki makes a decision to pull Gabriel into 50-50 as he's falling down because then he's in a position that he can easily sweep back in. We see Izaki feed the lapel through and start swinging his leg, 
This is a really smart tactical decision as he can run out the clock and sweep to come up at the last minute. You see, with this swing through, it's uh, not only just to run out the clock, but to get the back hook in 50-50 as you see he's progressing to. When Isaki makes the hook, Gabriel makes a 300 IQ move by grabbing uh, Isaki at the, at the drawstring and pulling him up so that Isaki can't tra uh, transition to a sweep or a crab ride. We also see Izaki grab Gabriel's pants for two reasons, one being so that he can attack the sweep or the crab ride that we just saw, but also to stop the back step that is presented to Gabriel if Izaki doesn't grab the far leg. We see Izaki starts to explosively free his knee line and start attempting some sort of backwards double leg variation. Notice how Gabriel, on the on the come up, Gabriel is controlling Izaki's bottom sleeve. This was a really nice grip because that stops Izaki from posting on that arm to come up, and, but Izaki makes the momentum for it by it uh, makes up for it by getting the momentum to stand up. See how when Izaki is attempting the double, Gabriel does a good job of scrambling out a bit and freeing his left leg by continuing the momentum and kicking out. Isaki is on the single, and Gabriel actually kind of in this moment does kind of an Isaki defense to Isaki as he sort of limp legged out of the position. And over here is a really sick moment where Gabriel backsteps over Isaki's back. And the only reason this was able to work is because Isaki was on his knees finishing the single, as now Gabriel had more room to throw his leg over. If Isaki was standing with the single, it would have been extremely hard to do that as Gabriel would have needed free flexibility. From Gabriel backstepping, Isaki makes the decision to stand up as he doesn't want his back taken. Gabriel, as Izaki is getting his base, does a beautiful trip, and in the press of, his, of Izaki scrambling out, he's able to get what I think are the mount points. So, yep, that's the end of the breakdown. Uh, both of these guys are super, super good to watch. I love watching both Gabriel Arges and Izaki Bayens. Uh, the two of the best, like, pound for pound, some of the best guys in jiu-jitsu. Um, you should go support them on their social media and everything. Um, I'm going to keep these videos coming as much as I can. Uh, also, during this quarantine time, it's kind of it's kind of hard to progress in jiu-jitsu, and I want to kind of help you with that. So right now, what I'm doing, offering a private lesson. So you can message me on Instagram or on Facebook. Those are the easiest ways to reach me. So if you message me on there, and we can sort out an online private, and this way I can help you progress during this time of quarantine to improve your jiu-jitsu and return to the mats better than you were before. And um, yeah, that's it. Sh uh, share the video like, subscribe, uh, tell me what you learnt, tell me something that you want to see in the future, to, uh, leave your thoughts on the, on the match, or tell me what to work on, anything would be appreciated, and um, yeah, thank you, let it be all chill, have a good one, goodbye.